Outside Nigeria, Joe Biden has spent his first 100 days as U.S. president focusing on a series of issues facing the country, from immigration and the economy to COVID and climate. Wednesday evening ahead of this milestone, the president addressed a joint session of Congress. This target given in his speech to Congress is an increase on previous goals and has been achieved. When he took office in January, President Biden pledged 100 million vaccine doses in his first 100 days. At the end of March, he doubled that commitment. At the time, he said, quote, I know it's ambitious, twice our regional goal, but no other country in the world has even come close, not even close to what we are doing, end quote. Well, joining me now for more on this is a media analyst and chief executive officer and case consultant, Aiko Gwibili, who joins us via La Skype from Washington, D.C. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. Well, it's uh, President Biden's 100th day in office. What is the assessment of his administration? What are the high points? What are the low points? Well, thanks for having me. So far, uh, this incoming administration has done excellently well. About 100 days ago, uh, America was still up in smoke. There was a lot of tension, a lot of confusion all over the place uh, as the transition was taking place. But in the last 100 days, we've seen tremendous change and efforts by the Biden government. Um, they've hit their first 100 days. And in that 100 days, you've actually seen the vaccines being launched out completely. Uh, loads of Americans have it. The most important highlight so far is the COVID relief package of $1.9 trillion. And that has had a tremendous impact in the American economy off the back. Take, for instance, job employment. Um, they've, had, they've added about 1.2 million people since the last 100 days into the job market. Uh, you see the, 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 the decrease of the, of the COVID-19 virus. Uh, most, like, most Americans have got vaccinated, including myself. Uh, and so it's, it's, it's a good win for him so far. All right, but it appears uh, there is some level of uh, uh, issues with uh, the issue of migration because uh, there have been reports of uh, uh, minors who are unaccompanied, who are crossing the Mexican-U.S. border. How is the nation reacting to the issue of migrant crisis? Well, the migration issue has always been a problem out here in the States for quite a while. It's not a, it's not a Joe Biden thing. It's not President Biden's thing. It's, it's been there. It was there during when President Trump was there. It was even there when President Obama was there. Um, I think the president had made some promises during his campaign days how he was going to address it. And I think his team are on top of it. Uh, it's a bit of a challenge, really, and honestly, um, seeing people trying to get in. But they, they're only allowing the minors come in, they're not allowing the parents come in. Uh, obviously, breaking up families. But something has to be done at the borders, and they're doing their best so far to make sure that there's an easy transition with that taking place. All right, so let's see what happens in the next 100 days. Media analyst and chief executive officer and case consultant, Aiko Gwebele, thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. Thank you. Thank you for having me.